Pharaoh Khufu has taken the throne, and as foretold by seers of Horus and Ra, our people have already begun to suffer under his oppression. Khufu has ordered that a royal governor be dispatched at once to Iunet to defend our land against Kushite invaders. Iunet can support a small fishing industry which should feed the settlement for a time. If the Kushites invade by water, however, the river may become unsafe for fishing boats, and shore areas may be better used to support a fleet of warships. If food becomes scarce, cattle may also be raised to provide meat, though the herds require much straw for fodder, and straw is difficult to grow in this land. You should seek other cities with which to trade for straw, for you will also need this to make bricks for your mastaba. The city of Byblos in Lebanon, land of the cedars, has begun trading with the powerful empires of the east. These are Assyria and Ur, in the land called Mesopotamia, between the two great rivers, and from them the finest ivory may be obtained via Byblos. With the arrival of rare and exotic luxury goods such as this, Iunet is sure to thrive. In the capital, the Egyptian people have begun to enjoy a board game called Senet. This game is normally enjoyed over a pitcher of beer in a public gathering place called a Senate House. Such places may provide a welcome diversion for the people of Iunet from the tyranny of Khufu's authority. Pharaoh has ordered that countless quarries be dug at On in the Delta region to harvest a vast supply of fine white limestone. Only the gods know what endeavor Pharaoh has planned for the use of this stone. It is rumored that he is planning a colossal building project on the plateau outside Rostja, that he may usurp the renown his father, the wise and benevolent Snarfru has earned from the completion of his two noble pyramids. Hello and welcome back to Pharaoh A New Era. We are here at Inuit. This is their mission to On, which we've already done. Um, this will be a military mission. It is, of course, titled The Defense of Egypt. Let's take a look here. We have a population of 4,000, culture rating of 30, monument rating of 5, prosperity of 30, kingdom of 65, and one small mastaba. Let's go ahead and take a look at our time here. It ticked forward a little bit on me. Um, we have some gold and copper rocks here some stone we have a bit of a desert area over here a lot of grassland along this side of the bank over here which is our primary area up here's our kingdom road and there's not a ton of space we have these two kind of useless islands over here let's go ahead and take a look at our services everything's normal for food though we have fishing wharfs and cattle ranches two of arguably the worst types of food in the game going along with grain when you combine grain with cattle it's not so so bad but cattle take somewhere of like 5.65 grain farms to feed one cattle ranch and then um, fishing wharfs are just super slow for the amount of time that they have to travel it's literally they waste months compared to other food sources so definitely not good trying to get a population of 4,000 we're not going to have a lot off of that looking at our um, raw resources here we have clay, which is great because we'll be importing straw. And that's also a thing to be said, too, for um, every cattle ranch we're doing is less straw we could be using to make clay because we will have to import it. We have gold and copper, granite, limestone, brickworks, brewery and pottery. Um, with all the gold down here, I don't expect to have to do a lot of exports. For gods, we have three gods. We have Bast, Ra and Seth. So Vast, of course, being our patron, which is awesome that not very often that happens. And then Raw and Set. This is a military mission, so we have a full military ensemble with ships and everything. We're going to need them. And of course, one small Mastaba and no changes to entertainment. Now we have a Senate house, which I don't think we'll need because we only need like a culture rating of 30, which is not very high. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start on this. Uh, what is it, Southwest Bank over here? I'm going to start at this sand dude up top on the second one right here. Go up one. I'm going to count six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I'm going to go over one. And start my road right there. That's eight and 17. I want to say two things while I'm doing this. 
is that one, I have a tutorial out for my housing if you are interested in how and why I do this. Um, I have that and two, I do have global labor pull on, so that's in the settings. Um, so when I build out my production, you don't see any houses there. Um, just be aware that that's the reason why. I feel that it's a good setting and I rather like it. All right, I'm gonna do five right there. Set my roadblocks. All right, I'm gonna go down um, 12, I think it is. Yeah, three, six, nine, 12. Three, four, five, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. No. We're gonna do 12. Go up four. Cross 12 again. And then down. That should be right. Go back over five again. And then. We'll start our housing block here again. We're going to have two housing blocks because I plan to feed one and not the other. So anytime I'll need more, I need more workers. I'll just start adding on to the other not optimal one. Just kind of planning this out for now. There we go. That should be all right. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll build this one out just to make sure I did everything right. I did. Excellent. All right, and then five down again. And then this one is going to be be 17 right there. Perfect. Then one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Nice. And back up again. My mouse is still giving me issues. I think I need to buy a new one. All right, so we can do all of our stuff over here, bring it over, very nice. Do one more that way. All right, that's our basic setup for that. Let's put in our water crossing, our ferry landing here. Can't get too many immigrants in if we don't have that, huh? Do you want to be a reminder that, um, like how these don't have to have, if you're playing, if you're playing without global labor pool, even these do not require workers for settlers, but for any type of production or uh, traders or anything like they do. So, all right, and I think that's all I'm gonna put there for now. I'm gonna put more over here, and the reason being is I'm gonna feed one before I feed the other, and um, because it's kind of, I will put that one there. It is, it's kind of hard to get you, with fish to get your initial feeding for a massive. Like fully decked out housing block, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try something new on this one. See how it works. You're seeing it right here live on Inuit. New housing, kinda. We're gonna look at our gold mines now. Um, just a reminder that it doesn't really matter where you, um, how far away your gold mines have to go to your village palace, as long as they can make it back before the next production is complete, okay? so. If you were to put your palace like over here, as long as the very farthest gold mine can get back, you're not losing anything in gold because they will still working, still work while the cow, uh, cart pushers are gone. Okay, so I know people are saying like, oh, it's too far or something like that. Not really. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's all I can get there. All right, throw in our copper. One, two, three. Well, four. That should be plenty. We can trade it. We can do everything with it. We're gonna go ahead and just bring that over there. Remember, you can control click buildings. Uh, that's not good. But I got so busy. As much as I preach on about not ignoring your gods, I went ahead and ignore the gods. So we're going to go one, two, one for a garden. And then we're going to bring this down. 
to right there, I think it is. We have 692, so one temple for raw. Then one temple for set. And we should... We have two temples for Bast already down, so that's 750. So now we should be good. No, we got it before set got mad at us, which is, which is good. All right, let's go ahead and start our... Excellent. If we had food, that'd be very nice. Let's go ahead and start our storage yards here. I'm gonna undo that one because I messed it up. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. There we go. And you will accept all copper. The reason I have that automatically set in the settings to accept none is that way as soon as you put it down, it gets employment, and then suddenly everybody starts pushing things to it, and you got to continue to move things out. It's just personal preference, but that's how I like to do it. You can also just make sure you're always paused when you're placing them. All right, let's look at military, weaponsmith. What's our unemployment? Good, 56. We're getting money. Probably should work on fish, because I think Pharaoh's going to start asking for fish here soon. We just can't catch a break with Pharaoh, can we? Put our ship right. Right there. Oh, come on, you mouse. So fishing um, doesn't require any type of wood to make them. One, two, three, four, five. All right. A festival to Seth. They're already requesting fish. That was very quick. We just finished our first year, really. Um, went by very fast, I think, and they're already doing fish. So we're almost there. I have all these fishing wharfs going. And I think we should have it. Yep. All right. We sent that off. I, I did start military down here. Just put them down there and then up there. I do need to. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll be good. I do need to look at importing up here. So. Just trying to ramp up real quickly. Excellent. That's what we want right there. Thank you, Set. That way, anybody who attacks, it will significantly weaken them. But we do need... Um, we do need uh, warships on this mission. 100%. So... We're going to have to start importing wood here soon. As soon as I get more money, though. Because I'm running low on money. I want to set up pottery. Maybe to export. And then look at importing wood. New trade route available. Oh, Royal Governor, because you have honored Pharaoh and Set by sending 400 fish to Mindifer in time for the great festival, new trade route Abu can be opened. We know it looks like it's like that. It's not like that. Let's take a look. So Abu is over here. They will buy clay pottery, reeds, papyrus, and they sell straw, grain, flax, linen, gems, granite, and sandstone, which is very nice. We can use... Uh, we could technically import like things like flax and linen. We have grain, which is an alternate food source yet again. And we can import our lovely straw. So. I messed up and put that there. I do actually want to put a dock there instead. Lovely waste of money. I'm playing. It's quite late at night and I'm playing this and I really got to stop doing that. Let's put these over here. Just extend that all the way down. Put a roadblock. We'll do a firehouse. And an architect's post. Excellent. The gods are now liking us again. Let's take a look. We have two for patron, which is uh, 1,500, 1,500. Same with set, and for there we are at three, which is 1,150, so not too much. I did start feeding a little bit over here, but just taking it straight at the storage yard. Ooh, that ain't good. 
Speaking of being tired, I put two firehouses down. Man, oh man. Awesome. So, I think it's time we start importing wood pretty quickly here. So let's... Two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna put that right there. We're gonna put wood right here. Let's go to our overseers. I'll oh, probably gotta open the trade route first, I believe. So, some oasis. It's a land trade route. So technically it doesn't really matter where we put it, but right there is good. And we are going to go to our Overseer Commerce here. Roll down. We are going to import, let's just say 1,000 wood. It's going to be very expensive, um, but we have basically unlimited, unlimited cash the longer we wait. Our copper is filling up very quickly. Can we sell copper? Who can we sell copper to? They buy Selma. Okay, well, we can sell copper to Selma. Let's do that. So copper, we're going to export one over. We'll say a thousand. So hopefully he'll come up here, he'll sell us some wood, and then he'll go get the copper. I've begun importing, of course, wood for our warships. We have our nice, lovely warships over here. Let's add, uh, we'll add one more. And then um, we have our straw coming in. We have clay. I did put down a cattle farm just to start stacking up on some cattle. I did tell the bazaars not to buy it. Um, we are just going to store it right here in the storage yard for selling. So I think we have a lot of clay going, so we could start with a... Brick works, which we put this one here. We'll accept bricks. Production. Brick works. And then let's see here. Do I do four for now? We're still using this one over here as manual labor. We're not really worried too much about evolving this housing over here. We are selling copper primarily. And you see we're still, let's say fish get all. We're still not really getting a ton of food in. Just feeding this one little housing block here. I just, I, I don't like fish. But we could technically start importing grain here soon. Let's, let's look at grain. Rain will come in from Abu, which is a water route. Okay. So. We put one. Um, here. We want this to, let's say, get wood. I want you to empty wood. Get that out of there. And I want you to accept all grain because remember grain coming from a storage yard has to go to or to or grain coming from trading has to go to a storage yard not a granary that's the big difference and you can't trade out of a granary either we're going to accept all actually you know what let's do one more accept all and then granary how much is it? 31? Eh, it's not cheap, but not... Well, we're doing okay on money, that's for dang sure. We're gonna click this bad boy way up. Say 3,300. Alright. Because of their dreams, a Kushite army is approaching. Reach your city in nine months. So let's take a look. We have... We have our two troops down here. And we have four warships. And it looks like we're building more. So we can actually expand those out. Plenty of copper, plenty of weapons, plenty of everything. Just need more people. Now that we're starting to stock up a little bit more on food. Oh, rural governor. Abu asked for more meat. Well, we've been stocking it up. We're going to go ahead and just deliver that now. We just started the monument over here because our bricks are building up. 
um, pretty nicely. Should be good with just two of those for now. Have a bunch of work camps. They'll level that out really quick. We'll start. Still low on food over here. And I lost two fairies because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even see. They'll be here in one month. Alright. Well, I lost more than two. Let's pause that. And I wonder where my food production goes, right? The spirit of Set. Set remembers his promise to protect us. Alright, he strikes him down. Let's see. Okay, so it is water. Let's go to the battle. Alright, looks like it's just one ship versus my four. Let's go ahead and continue out of that. Alright, we lost one warship. They lost one warship. And they lost one infantry. It looks like we sunk them before they even had a chance to hit our infantry. Which is what we want. A new trade route available. All right, since we sent more meat out, looks like we opened a new trade route. Let's take a look. Minna fur. Oh, they'll sell chickpeas, pottery, and papyrus. They buy brick, barley, beer, and jewelry. Very nice. Uh, let's see. We have no grain coming in yet, unless they ate it all. But then, unless I didn't turn it on. Let's see. Yeah, we we are importing to maintain. So. Let's go ahead and actually turn that one off then. Let's go for chickpeas. Chickpeas would be nice. They're one of my favorite foods. All right. And actually, was that a water trade route? I imagine it is. Mendifer is. All right. Go to our overseer of trade and commerce. We're going to import to maintain a whole bunch. That is a storage yard's worth. Yeah, except all. And, yep. Yeah. There we go. So now it should come in on the dock here. Go to right here since it's super quick. And then, since this is set to get, it will go over there. And they'll go get it as it arrives. Starting to think Januarys are just the harbingers of bad news. A foreign army will invade in nine months. I think we'll be all right. Making a lot of money, just basically just selling um, copper. But I would like to say, I just found out that if you hold, so like I would hold this over and then just like drag all the way across, it actually takes money for even like even though there's no roads there it's like per tile area and i think that's a bug oh our clay pit collapsed not much we can do about that it's a scripted event good old seth taking out all of our enemies for us let's take a look let's go to the battle once again it's just one to one there and they made it to land but I think we, uh, I think we got it. The Mastaba has just finished. Oh, Royal Governor, it has been done. All right, let's take a look here. Take a look at our ratings. We built more jugglers. Let's go ahead and dispatch the grave goods there. Unpause and see. Everything looks good, but we could throw few more juggler schools out there. Give people some entertainment on the way to work. Excellent. We need a population of 4,000. We are getting there. We have more people coming in. 
we do. Let's check our overseer of granaries. Current housing can hold 600 more people, so I think we're good. So let's go ahead and five times that. Six months, I think we'll be fine. Let's watch our population jump up. And we are there. Extraordinary. In spite of our poor conditions and continuous attack from fierce Kushites, you have built a fine city and shored up Egypt's, Egypt's southern border. We completed it in 75 months with a culture rating 35, prosperity 49, kingdom rating 94, and a population of 4,000. Let's go ahead and take a look. I would say all in all, this was a very easy mission. Um, let's see. I think... I think I'm going to continue to do that on missions like this to where I'll have two housing blocks and I'll just sparsely populate one housing block here until I build up my food supply and then have another housing block that's just basically I can get like 1,500 people there without even feeding them. Having all this gold is just easy. All I was really exporting was just copper and that's it. And everything else is just from gold. And you can see our money just continued to climb. Um, to a while I was just to the point I was just throwing things in like let me just eat up unemployment you see all of our bricks here just trying to get that Masaba finished as soon as possible so yeah this is a very easy mission I would say if you are going to export things like granite down here put a dock over like like over here that way um, and set it to only trade granite that way it doesn't have to go so far because if you have your dock like I did way up here and you set it to trade granite those are water routes, so it's gonna they're going to have to bring it all the way across the city, and it's going to build a big backlog on your dock. Just make sure you don't do that. Other than that, this mission is very simple. So that was EUNET, the sister mission to ON. And moving on, it looks like Pharaoh has a big plan for us. So excited to see what's going to happen, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, that YouTube stuff. It really does motivate me to continue on. And I hope you like the video, and I'll see you next time.